confident as a manager going for him. And as Gareth mentioned in his interview, it was something he wanted to look to uh, in March before the, the tournament, if it would have been in the summer. So I think it's nice to have that balance where you can go from one system to another. But I think it remains to be seen what is his go-to formation. I still think that... England kickoff. Keep it in. It's the hundredth game for his country for Gareth Southgate. Unfortunately, we play the next year. It's a fine setting when full. Backing in a little bit more than sometimes they do. England. Alexander Arnold trying to get it in. And in the end, Christensen puts it. Pasado, Jadon Sancho, Gallo Sancho, el toque. Diez y medio en este primer tiempo, cero a a central striker. That's a foul by Declan Rice. Oh, Thomas Delaney. It's been a... Oh, it's goal. Trying to show some of that goal score. Throw this forward. Needs a bit of help. Nicely taken by Alexander-Arnold and very well taken by Schmeichel. If he parried that out, he'd have easy back. Here's a Dolberg. Has a go, and that's the best effort so far from the Danes. They're just too high from the French-based striker. Yeah, an attempted England. To play out to Bass again. He gets the cross in towards the near post, and Poulsen was in there, just behind Dolberg. Well, they're looking threatening. Denmark getting plenty of help. <laughs> wary of making a challenge on him in the penalty area. Full lift forward by worst result for 25 years at the time. I conceded four. Kane, maybe a shot. In the end, it's a block. Yeah, I just feel they've, they've looked at... Too long, too straight. By Dyer, but others are needed as well. Phillips was on hand. Uh, home team here. And Brathwaite, and he fancied his chance then. Didn't really cut the mustard at Middlesbrough. Erling. And Trippier again. Harry Winks not in the squad, but England have worked it better here. Back to Raheem Sterling again from Sancho, and he's round the back of Denmark. Oh, oh, no! Kane, corner from his former teammate. Hey, yeah, meanwhile, Ericsson, the resulting corner still up for grabs. Braithwaite couldn't uh, the ball to uh, come. A lot of money being talked about, Craig. $120 million. Ericsson's free kick again, though. Very unhappy with. Uh, Shirt pulling and jostling, he saw in front of him. See it increasingly all around the world and an international. At the tail end of the first half for the English defence, another free kick for Denmark. Craig. Shot from uh, some way out. Pickford. Kane barged into there by outside the box as uh, Alexander Arnold offs. And then they moved him back to centre half, and obviously he was a terrific centre half. Very quickly placed in charge. The aftermath of the Sam Allardyce era, which didn't run. And Raheem Sterling and trying to chase down that long ball. Uh, sure. Further above the World Cup. And even the Nations League last summer. Super Bowl, Skov and Vass. Either side has looked very assured. Harry Kane. As he tried to accelerate clear. Braithwaite. One number nine bringing down the other. Well, meanwhile, a triangle that had uh, Harry Kane running through. You know, I think with the injuries that Harry... 
ask off. One way then the... Now Delaney from... Trent Alexander-Arnold. Sterling towards Kane. Did the flag stay down? It didn't. Michael wasn't to know and he denied Harry Kane but to escape the clutches of two. Harry Kane. Shot effectively uh, hit Raheem Sterling on the way through. Lots of options in the penalty area, decent delivery, but it's Ericsson this time, and the end result is just about the same. They're using one of those Jabalani balls. As Harry Kane pushed to margins, losing to Croatia only on penalties. This is Harry Kane. Oh, he was close. Had the inside track, didn't he? On Robert Scove, the ball was too far in front of him. Well, it's Trippier towards Kane. Former teammates close to come. Absolutely flying here in Italy. 